Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Today I want you to think about this. Proverbs 18 verse 20 and 21 says, For a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that live by it shall reap the fruit thereof. If we want to lead a healthy life, our doctor would recommend that we eat healthy foods, drink plenty of water, and exercise on a regular basis. But in order to do that, it takes great commitment, sacrifice, and you have to be disciplined. I don't know about you, but if I had to choose between a hamburger and a salad, I think I'm going to go with a hamburger. But Jesus in Matthew 4 verse 4, when he was being tempted in the wilderness, he told the devil that um, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. The same way that we invest in our natural man in order to lead a healthy life, it is the same way we are to invest in our inner man. So how do we do that? In Proverbs 18 verse 20, the word belly is symbolic to the inner man. So what is the inner man? In the Greek language, the inner man is also known as, is known as lebab, meaning the mind, the will, the heart, which is the same thing as the spirit. So let's read verse 20 like this. A man's spirit shall be filled with the fruit of, shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. So whatever fruit you are producing with your mouth, that is what you're going to be filled with. So what are you telling yourself today? Are you encouraging yourself or are you talking down to yourself? Listen, in order for us to be the light of the world, in order for us to give life, we also have to have that life and we have to have that light. But how can we do that through the word of the living God? Listen, Jesus told the Jews this in John 7, verse 37 and 38. And this is what he said to them. He said, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. For he that believeth on me, and as the scripture saith, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So Jesus is saying to you, and he's saying to me, out of you, if you believe in me, out of you shall flow life, not death. So I ask you this question. What are you feeding your spirit? Are you feeding your spirit life? Or are you feeding your spirit death? Do you believe in God? Well, if you do, out of your belly, out of your spirit shall flow rivers of living water. Listen, as I said before, we are the light of the world. Let's speak life into our own lives so we can then speak it into our family's life so we can speak it to the world. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Manor for Thought. If you haven't subscribed to this channel as yet, I'm going to ask you to please go ahead and do so. Join me as I expound upon the word of the living God. Thank you.